Yeah, we've got a decent pile of lumber here. All nice and split. For all of maybe half an hour total of work. And uh, that'll give me a good, oh, probably a good three hours worth of heat anyways. That I can cook and just relax. Taking all the sounds of the forest. Usually what I do too is whenever I stop, make a fire, and cook myself something to eat. If it's a spot I've never been in before, what I'll do is before I leave, I'll take out my GPS and take a reading or a set a waypoint. And uh, once I get home, I download all that on my computer so I can keep track of where I've been and plan for my next outing. So looking at the topographical maps, I may decide that there's another place not far from wherever I camped it. I would like to visit. <clears throat> so uh, we're starting to run out of battery life here, so I'm going to stop the video and tend to my fire because I'm not satisfied. It's not burning very uh, efficiently, so I'm going to fix that and uh, get my meal uh, ready because I'm starving here and I'm I'm getting cold, running low on energy, so I'll stop the video for now. I just put the ham in the pot there. I added some spices that I made here. It's just a, a custom mix of various things. Wait for the water to boil. I also picked out the biggest uh, twigs and stuff that was in my water. This there. fire is definitely uh, not the best I've made, that's for sure, because it's, it's very smoky. <clears throat> it's very smoky, what I should have done is build a better base. See the sticks at the bottom burnt through and the fire is basically trying to heat the ground and that's why there's so much smoke. Plenty of heat but just too smoky for my liking. good thing about it though is that since all the sticks <laughs> are, are all crowded together it makes for a, an integrated pot holder. All I need to do is sit my pot right on there and just cooking away. I haven't experimented with uh, the, uh, the fancy uh, pot holders that I've seen on YouTube where you basically build the stick and then there's a notch and uh, then you have another stick that hooks onto uh, the, the stick that hangs down. I, I have no idea what it's called. I just pot hanger or whatever. I've seen it done on YouTube. One of these days I'm going to try The advantage to having a pot with the lid is you don't have to worry about all the ashes working their way in here for some good heat. Not so good smoke. <coughs> Let that boil a little bit. <clears throat> Once it does, I'll add my potatoes. Nice thing about instant potatoes, as soon as your water boils, you put it in there, stir it up, and it's ready to eat. So if you've got some wild game or whatever, you can uh, put the meat in there, boil it up, make sure it's fully cooked. And then once that's done, you pour this stuff in, mix it up, instant meal. I love it. Highly recommend it. I always keep a supply of that on hand, so whenever I want to come out into the woods, 
that's usually at the top of my list. I also bring rice, uh, popcorn kernels if I want a snack or whatever. And all that can be cooked in the same pot. A little bit of practice. Tricks to figure out how much water to put in your pot so that your potatoes aren't soupy but not dry either. So I don't measure anything, I just eyeball it. And so far it seems to be turned out alright. Excellent. Check it out. Mashed potatoes and ham. Mmm. Good stuff. Real hot too. disadvantage of using a plastic water bottle is that if your water freezes up inside you can't you can't heat it up but what you can do is boil yourself a pot of water excuse me a pot of water and put your bottle in the hot water but that would be a two-step process if you're not in a hurry it wouldn't be a big deal But if you tend to be in a hurry, you'd be better off with a, a metallic uh, bottle. First time I took this camera out into the woods, I only got about 15 minutes worth of video on a full charge. And the camera's rated for three hours. So uh, <clears throat> that's quite the difference. And that difference was because, because of the cold. The camera uses a lithium ion battery, which is good for the cold, but you know it still has its limits. So what I did this time to get quite a bit more video on the one battery is I took one of those uh, charcoal heaters that you would put inside your boots and I put it under the camera where the battery compartment is and then I took an old sock. Okay, and cut the tube part off so the part that covers your leg and your ankle I folded it over so and I and I'm using that to hold the heat pad under the camera with a couple rubber bands and I'm not sure how much video I got today but 
I know it's quite a bit more than the other day there with a 15 minute video so uh, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll post a video showing you how I did it and uh, you may find it handy for your videos out in the snow <laughs> 